hi hello welcome to this tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to see a dynamic uh, movement of uh, spears so if you are not yet subscribed to this channel please subscribe if you have any comments please leave your comments in the comments box kindly share okay so let's go into the tutorial so I'm just going to go for the palatonic here okay so I'm just going to take uh, two palatonic first one and the second one okay so you can just have the main uh, as one so I'm just going to select this second one okay so going into this channel box going to input and I'm just going to increase the subdivision to two here okay so that makes some sense I'm just going to scale that one like this okay so that is good and this one I'm just going to leave as it is because I'm just going to use this as a object to attached to this main one okay so I'm just going to rename it here just go to the input and I'm just going to rename it to main and this one okay uh, as a sub okay so whatever the name you need okay whatever is com comfortable for you meaningful just go for it okay so uh, selecting this one the sub what I'm gonna do I'm just going to go to mesh and uh, I'm going to create this if you didn't find the mesh here just go here go to FX mode or animation mode you will find those in the menu bar okay so I go to mesh here and going to create a mesh network here okay you see that you you didn't find that one but if I rotate this you find this and if I press 4 you can see that inside okay so I had a to copy here okay so I have to go to attribute editor uh, if you don't find it here press ctrl a you'll get it and uh, when you open this window just go to mesh distributor mesh distributor just come down here okay so at the top you'll find this where you can just increase those things okay and uh, you can just have radial or something like spherical but here what I need is I I'm just going to go for a, a, a mesh here okay so after uh, selecting the mesh here you see that is not connected it it shows not connected right so what I'm gonna do just go to windows open the outliner here okay so you have the main palatonic 2 okay so I'm going to assign this for this sub okay so just go to mesh here just middle mouse click and drag and throw it here okay you see that uh, immediately when I throw that there you see this got attracted to the original one so just go here in the method go face center okay so you see that it got uh, every face okay so it got centered face okay so just go again to the mesh here okay just come down here you find something called flood mesh okay so if you give flood mesh you see it automatically gets strict to all the phases okay it will be flooded all around the uh, phases okay so you don't want to go here and increase the points to have every phase you see that like if I just go remove the flood here if I just increase it will get increased but I have to give more and more and uh, we don't know exact number for it so you can simply come here give flood mesh so that will make uh, the whole object attracted to uh, with every phases okay here I'm just going to go to the pal palatonic uh, one I'm just going to scale this one so that it will get affected here okay till I get this one uh, I can go a little bit more where you don't see the gap much gap inside this okay fine so after that I'm just going to go to this uh, palatonic I'm just going to control H here control H means nothing but hide if you uh, forget the shortcut key just go here display hide hide selection that's it okay after that I'm just going to go for uh, minimize that uh, attribute I'm just going to go right click here so select this one okay right click go to new materials okay so go to Arnold okay so Arnold surface shader just click on this I'm just going to go for this color okay so uh, that will get applied sorry not here so it has to be white here just come down here I'm just going to go for color here select this one okay so uh, it will get uh, affected okay the color get affected okay so I'm just going to have this let me see uh, in render okay 
so what I have to do is go to Arnold click here lights sky dome okay and then what you have to do is go here Arnold open Arnold render view just play this one so that's perfect right okay so whatever I do here it'll, you can see that one here inside okay so let me close that out okay after that a little change the color okay the texture okay so what I'm gonna do just right click come to a standard surface just come down here I'm just going to go to the color here okay so here I can just uh, make it red or something light color okay so I go with this pink okay so that will give you some specular little bit difference in specular okay fine after doing that what I have to do is just uh, select that one okay go to mesh here mesh one or else you can just click on the mesh here just go to mesh here okay so here what I'm gonna do I'm just going to use signal click on the signal add signal node okay immediately I added immediately this gets something deformed okay so you see the power of mesh power of signal node okay so just go play this one you see that it's amazing right okay so that that is the power of the smash okay so this node signal node so where you can just move the position of X and you can move the position of Y okay as much as you need okay so if you want in Z axis and uh, Y axis and X axis you can do it all over the sides okay so where I can just come back here I can just go back here I can have it like this so if I play this this is what you get okay fine and coming down here you'll find something called rotation where you can just rotate the every single sub object where you see if I just increase the rotation you see the rotation happening there okay so if I zoom in you can see the rotation happening for every uh, single sub okay so uh, if you don't want the rotation just go it off okay and coming here you have a scale here where you can scale it evenly if I just scale this one if I play this one you see unevenly it is scaled okay the uniform is something uh, applied for every single uh, the sub okay so if I take this you see it will get affected only in X axis if you want to do it in Y axis you have you can do it in Y axis and also in some cases you can use this also okay not in every cases but uh, it will be deformed in some other way okay so which will look something uh, abnormal okay fine you can just do it in all the axis or you can just use uniform so where it controls all the three like uh, scale in X Y and Z okay so that can be done with this scaling okay uniform scaling after that you have noise okay where you can just increase the noise you can play this you can see something goes a little bit faster if I just go more you see that what happens yes there is a noise happening okay so that can be done with this noise so I just go back to one here and where you can just use the steps to go more okay so 150 to 200 okay so let me go back to 150 here you can increase the noise scaling so if you increase it you see that this is what happens okay so let me go to one here okay so uh, that can be done with this and coming back to strength here the strength is something different like how much it has to get applied the 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 signal how much it has to get applied if I just reduce the strength you see it came to the normal position so if I play this there is a slight movement in that okay so if you want the slight movement the strength to get applied a little bit you can just go here reduce the strength if you want fully applied to this so just go for one here okay so and also randomly if you don't want that to happen random okay just reduce it so it will apply evenly so somewhere okay so that can be done and uh, and also I can just uh, I go with random and I can just reduce the strength of it step strength you see now it will apply to one side see this yes that can be done with the help of this where I can just go down and I can just apply in somewhere 
some position where you can just animate this also from here to here so it goes like this wow right so play with this okay so let me make this one uh, one here okay where I can just put it one okay uh, you go and play with this more and more here what I'm gonna do I'm just going to show you another one now uh, I'm just going to stop this one here I used uh, 4d noise where you can just go for looping noise also so if I play this this will go like this something okay where you can just make it noise noise faster just go here noise increase the noise scaling so that that is what the thing is. you can see this one okay so uh, you can use any objects within this uh, poly model okay so any object any shape you might have done uh, editable poly and uh, edit that one and you can just apply it to this okay so try that one try that one okay so uh, I suggest you to try that one so I don't want the looping here what I'm going to use is like I'm just going to use brow and motion this is what I need so if I click this you see my shape got deformed okay so if I play this one you see that one that goes something beautiful right so kind of an organic movement happens so where I can just rotate use rotate if I want to scale it out I can scale this one at 10 percentage now you see this is what I go okay so let me go here take off this one okay so if I play this one you see what happens there that's beautiful right so where I can just uh, bring out the scale down here to something like this okay then I can just go I play this one it looks something organic okay where you can just have the position mode and the y axis mode and z axis mode okay and everything mode if I just play this one this goes like this something organic okay so where you can just uh, play with uh, the noise okay so if you want to play with noise you can just play with the noise more much okay so and also you can just scale the noise so you see that this get distracted much so I can just go down to one here again so this is how you do okay so I go back to this one okay let me go back to this play this one okay so uh, I hope like uh, this is more useful for you okay so let me go for uh, output here okay so I'm just going to play the output may I can just uh, play this one and bring it somewhere closer to this and go again go for uh, the Arnold render I can just place it at the center and I can just make this one a little bit bigger in size uh, okay so let me bring it down and now I'm going to play this one here okay so this is what you get okay so uh, if you play keep on playing this will get played okay where you can just go uh, and you can take render output here I'm just taking a single picture okay so if you want uh, in the end of the series I'll tell you how to render in sequence or render as a video okay so uh, I hope uh, you like this video if you like it please do subscribe this channel so if you have anything to comment please leave your comments in the comment box okay so if you like this video much share with your friends thank you for watching